watching it backstage and I was like, I would wear that. Oh my I was God. coveting I you. I love all the bright color. Obviously, right? the set is bright colors. But this is gorgeous. Thank I you love so this much. Number. I like a pant. I have. I no? do too. Yeah. Because you can Sharon Stone without Sharon Stone. Hundred yes, percent. Exactly. Sharon Pebble. You yes. know what I mean? <laughs> Instead of a stone. You're witty. Oh my gosh. Well, I haven't <laughs> seen you. I went to go visit the superstore with the teachers. That's I right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It was so cute. We were waiting, and we cut, we were in the middle of shooting, and so they're like, oh, just go over to the other stage and wait for Kelly Clarkson to come and surprise all these music teachers. Yeah. Uh, and the, the cameras are on us. We're all ready to go. We're waiting, and America just turns to me. I, I had no idea what was going on, and she was like, are we supposed to pretend we're not losing our minds that we're about to meet Kelly Clarkson? Oh, are you serious? Yeah, and I was, she played it off so well, oh right? Oh my God, she played it off so well. Like, I didn't, oh. I wouldn't have even known she knew a song. She's, she's, oh no, she's obsessed. What? Oh yeah, yeah, like legit. And literally you'd come in and she was like, hi, blah, blah, whatever. And then she'd turn to me and be like. <laughs> oh my gosh, she oh. kept her cool so well. Yeah, I, towards the end you said something about like, uh, you guys should all come, you know, visit us on the show sometime. And she literally, I don't think you heard her. She went, yeah, you know, be friends. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, it was so cute. I Legit. Mean, have you ever, I, that just blows my mind. I didn't know, have you ever just lost it when you met someone and you were like, wait, that was not a cool moment? Oh yes. Me too. So many times. Um, I think the most memorable would be, uh, this was, this is my first movie role I ever booked. It was in a, a film called Lars and the Real Girl, starring Canada's sweetheart, Ryan Gosling. Um, oh, that's how I know. I was like, I know that movie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm Canadian and I was still living in Canada at the time. So it was like day, it was day one of the entire production. It wasn't just my first day because I yeah. had a smaller part. Yeah. It's the first day of everything. So there's kind of a buzz around everybody because yeah. I know everybody, all the, all the other smaller part actors. We all know each other. Yeah. And we're like, oh my gosh, Ryan Gosling, like what's this going to be? And then he shows up and he had gained a bunch of weight for the role and, and had grown this mustache. And, uh, and, the and note, that's the day the notebook died. Right. <laughs> 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 yeah, hundred percent. And so, uh, and so, but 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 there's like a hush around us because it's Ryan Gosling, and yeah. even with everything, you're still like, oh my god, come on. Yeah. Um, and so we did we did a couple of rehearsals, and then we were being sent back to our trailers as happens. And I was walking in front of a, a friend of mine, um, a lady named Aurora, and I turned back as she was talking to me, and she's like, oh my gosh, even with the weight, even with the mustache, she's so hot. But what she didn't know was Ryan Gosling was right yeah. behind her. And I wanted to be a good friend, but I also was like, I can't show him that I'm showing her. So my way of handling this was just speeding up. I was like, I just gotta walk as fast as I can. And I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm walking fast and I'm walking fast and I get to a door and I go to push through the door and I hit it, because it was a pull. And so I smash into this door so hard and I turn around to see Ryan Gosling who in full costume, full get up, method actor, super serious, just laughing, just outward laughing at me. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a low. That That's was a low. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that, Jerry? Have you ever just lost it? I embarrass myself in front of Embarrass yourself. Yeah, like usually a... every morning at 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in front of a whole nation. Well, sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So I'm used to humiliation. Oh my God, I've made a career out of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Way to turn yeah. that around. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I embarrassed myself in front of Meryl Streep, in front of the nation. Ooh. Yeah, it was, it was, I didn't know people were filming. Oh. And I didn't know she was going to be there. And yeah. I... Yeah, she's probably scared of me. Um, no. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. But I think something we have in common that I didn't really get to talk to because we had the teachers there and everybody was, but I, I think we're very similar in the sense of like body positivity. And yeah. I love that about you. Yeah. Like, thank I think you. it's the greatest. Like, we all come different colors, different shapes, different sizes. Even like, we're all different sizes at different points in our life. And yeah. that's okay. Yeah. And I think it's, especially for women in this business, it's so important to have people that are really confident and comfortable in their skin. And I'm just, have you always been that way? Just curious. You know, I think it's an ongoing battle. I think that every woman can probably attest to that. Yeah. But it was earlier, it was, I don't usually do New Year's re resolutions, but this year I was like, you know what? I'm going to resolve to not speak negatively about my body to anybody, to be anybody else oh, or to wow. myself. <laughs> because I had this, thought that I was like, you know, I could tell you 25 things right now that I hate about my body, but I could probably also tell you 25 that I like. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just going to focus on the things that I like, and I'm not going to focus on the other things. And what's amazing is that it disarms people. So there'll be times in conversation I'll be like, well, you know, I have the greatest butt in the business, and people are like, oh my gosh. <laughs> 
and I'm like, I just don't talk negatively about myself I anymore. And so, you know, I put up a bikini post. I was in Hawaii, and I put up a post of myself First in a bikini. First of all, I saw your bikini post, oh, and bless. like, if I look like that in a bikini, yeah. I'd post it too. <laughs> like, you look really, really well, good. Thank you. But it, yeah. for me, it was like I would never normally wear something that tiny. I would never normally post that publicly. Um, but it was important to me because I was like, I feel fabulous, and it was such a just making that small mindset shift, even if I think something negative, the fact that I'm not saying it out loud has made such a difference. Yeah. And I really can't encourage people more. Cause listen. Fun. That's my worst, I love self-deprecation. I'm, I'm too. failing. Yeah. No, I'm the same way, but you know what? I'm the same way because a lot of comedy comes from self-deprecation, but I was like, you know what? There's lots of things about myself I can make fun of that don't involve my appearance. Yeah. So many. Oh, I have a lot of those too. <laughs> I'm not like, I don't. You, yeah, you too, one. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, so now I feel flaws. I can be part of this conversation. Oh, yeah, yeah, I tell you, I can <laughs> show, man. This yeah. is something I love, though, and I'm curious if you've ever had a cake like this. You had a butt cake. Yeah. So I was on. Uh, what? <laughs> So two years ago for my birthday, <laughs> wait, just wait for it. You didn't see the butt, He's going to move back yeah. over in about 30 seconds. Yeah. I, a, a couple years ago, I was throwing this big girls party in Palm Springs for my birthday, and I was like, oh, I've never had a bachelorette party. Should I get, like, a fun bachelorette-type cake? You know, maybe some male anatomy. And then I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to celebrate my anatomy. So I had a picture okay. taken of my butt in a thong, and I, <laughs> I sent it to a baker, what? and they made a cake in the likeness oh. of my butt. Oh my God! See what I tell you. Oh. What I tell you. Hey Jerry, have you ever done a butt Wait, cake? Wait, are we going to get to eat some? <laughs> oh, there's the cake. They showed a picture of the cake. Where's the cake? <laughs> I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not gonna stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.